Philip Dam joins us from Brussels. He is the Advocacy Director for Europe and Central Asia for Human Rights Watch. Thanks so much for joining us, Philip. Um, very harsh and grim uh, reporting there. Uh, your reaction to the report by The Guardian to what's been happening in Croatia? Right. I mean, this is absolutely consistent with evidence we have been also documenting for years now. In December 2018, we did release a full account of um, our findings at this particular border. We have seen the bruises, we have seen the injuries uh, inflicted to asylum seekers by the Croatian border forces uh, who um, push back en masse individuals who, however, would want to apply for asylum in the EU because they don't have such a chance to seek international protection in, in Bosnia. So the Croatian forces are not only illegally pushing back people at the border, but also inflicting them unjustified uh, uh, patterns of, 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 of violence in order to humiliate them and in, in order to convince them not to try again to seek protection in the EU. And, 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 and this has even been admitted last year, in fact, by, by Croatian uh, president in a public interview while uh, her government and police forces continue to bluntly deny this well-documented reality. So just to be clear with what you just said there, um, officials in the EU is that, do they continue to deny and cover up what is happening in Croatia? Well, right. So we, we brought our uh, conclusions to European Commission's officials several times. Um, this is very well known in, in Brussels because there were also other reports from the UNHCR, the Council of of Europe and other international and national non-governmental organizations. Uh, the response from the EU Commission was one of total trust to Croatia. And uh, in fact, two years ago, the EU Commission provided 300,000 euros to Croatia to investigate, uh, supposedly investigate those abuses. Two years later, there is still no investigation mechanism. There is still no sanction against Croatia. And in fact, this money was a blank check for abuses uh, for Croatia. So now is really the time for the European Commission to send investigators to that borders and to take sanctions against Croatia through legal proceedings because what's happening there is in clear violation of EU and international law. And, and do you think they will? Do you think they will send investigators to Croatia? Will the EU send investigators to Croatia? So a couple of days ago, a spokesperson from the EU Commission said that um, uh, officers would be sent to that borders. But the reality, again, is that for the past two years, uh, both the EU Commission as well as, as the EU border agency Frontex has simply avoided to tackle the issue. Um, we are also concerned that, that the uh, uh, ignorance or the, 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 the pattern of, of EU officials not to take action on patterns of pushbacks and violations and, 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 and abuse at borders doesn't only concern also Croatia, but also countries like Greece or Bulgaria, where we have also documented in the past year's abuses, which have re remained unaccounted for. Just a very simple question, Philip. Does the EU care less now about migrants and refugees, would you say? Well, what we have seen since 2015 is really um, 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 uh, an attempt by um, uh, EU member states to lock their borders, to push migrants and asylum seekers as far away as possible from the EU, and to, in many cases, uh, deny them access to international protection. Um, without, with very little concerns for uh, EU member states' compliance with EU's uh, own legislations when it comes to asylum and and, um, and and international protection. So now is really time, uh, while we are seeing that migration flows are relatively low compared to 2015, that the EU reaffirms that the right to seek protection and the right to asylum is a basis uh, of EU's migration policies and that abuses pushbacks and refoulement, putting people in desperate situations when they come from uh, situations of conflict conflict and repression um, are simply not part of the EU's values and principles when dealing with migration. Philip Dam from Human Rights Watch, it's been a pleasure to speak to you and uh, I look forward to speaking you. to you again on the news hour.